If you are using a OneDrive, Dropbox or Google Drive as your personal or business cloud storage services, then you must have some of the problems that a lot of other people are say, uh, facing as well and this video can help you solve those problems. And these problems are like first of all you have a problem with privacy and uh, services like Google Drive, OneDrive don't care about your privacy, your files are not encrypted etc etc. And regarding Dropbox, uh, its structure is not that much good. and I I personally don't like it okay uh, and uh, there are a lot other problems like if you are using it for your teams or for team collaboration it uh, it's a lot hard to share the files and uh, collaborate with other people and also the third thing is the amount of storage and the pricing stuff and uh, and this is a huge problem as well but here I have a solution for you which is sync.com and in this video I would be covering sync.com uh, uh, why this is better uh, why like this service is better than Google Drive, Dropbox and OneDrive and uh, what are their plans because with their teams plan you can get unlimited storage and custom branding and advanced sharing etc etc a lot of features and you can explore these features from their website as well so in this video I will go through its features, its advantages, disadvantages, pricing and how you can sign up and how to integrate and uh, obviously if you are facing the same problems with the traditional hosting services then this video can be a lot helpful for you and uh, you might consider uh, switching to sync.com. If you are looking for some teams plan, you have a business, you want a teams plan or you want a personal plan. So if we compare the teams plan which is unlimited plan between uh, uh, the sync.com and Dropbox, the Teams plan by a Dropbox is $15 per user per month uh, when billed annually and $18 per month per user per month when billed uh, monthly with unlimited storage. And when it comes to the Dropbox, it is around $30 per, users, uh, per user per month when billed monthly and when billed yearly, it's $24 per user per month where you will get the unlimited storage. So that's the difference between pricing as well. So why this will be till the end? And I'll see you in the next part. Before just starting out, make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and clicked on bell icon as well. And also in the first comment or in the description, you can find links to my personal community and you can join my uh, newsletter for free as well. And there are a lot of other resources as well. You can check these resources out in the first comment or in description. See you in the next part. Now let's go over sync.com and explore why I am preferring sync.com over other traditional cloud services and how it can be helpful for you. To get to sync.com you can go to link in description below or just type in sync.com slash kadeen to get a special uh, discount and also you will uh, get 5 GB for free when you will start with sync.com. So after going there here uh, you have the sync.com landing page and here you can see its feature, its safe, its secure and if you will go to pricing plans below here you can see they have a lot minimal and uh, amazing pricing plans where with the teams plan you will get the unlimited storage and with the uh, teams standard plan you will get the one terabyte of storage advanced sharing etc etc you can uh, compare all these plans as well by these features and set uh, all the technical features and you can see what uh, technical features all these plans are offering and for individuals or for teams you can select it for yourself now i'll just sign up for free for right now and i'll show you how this all process works it has uh, apps for desktop and uh, for pc and for all kinds of devices you can just go to your device and you can just install uh, this uh, software okay so i'll just sign up with sync.com and i'll just select the password and let's hit that enable email based forgotten password reset as well i'll hit create account and it will create account for me and uh, here you go it's getting uh, signed up and now I have signed up and it's uh, saying welcome to sync.com and I will also have to uh, uh, I'll also have to uh, verify it with the uh, verification link so I have received a verification link on my other screen uh, so from that uh, other screen I can just verify the sync.com as well so here you go the sync.com panel is um, so here you go it's verified now and uh, I'll just again sign into it 
here you go i am signed in and this is amazing minimal and simple dashboard of sync.com and if you'll go here from here you can also download the uh, app for windows a desktop app for windows and uh, or you can go to the web panel and also you can get the mobile apps from the app stores here we are on the sync.com and here is the simple and really uh, simple uh, dashboard of sync.com first of all you have files from here you can upload files and you can share the files then you have vault and uh, if uh, any file is added into vault so it would not be synced to your other devices then you have sharing options where you can uh, create a shared folder with your team members and you can share the links as well and all the links would be there uh, and uh, then you have the events tab uh, obviously all the events occurred will be would be added here uh, the, it is a complete log and then you have users from here you can add new users you can track users as well like uh, just hit on add user and uh, obviously you will have to add more users you will have to upgrade to sync teams plus or uh, standard or unlimited uh, obviously i would recommend unlimited there where you can get unlimited space um, you can store unlimited files and you can go with the users as well so now uh, uh, if you want to upgrade from here you can upgrade or if you want to install any app you can install the app as well and this is the simple and basic dashboard of sync.com com talking about using sync.com it's a lot a lot easy when you will go to the main dashboard cp.sync.com slash files here you have multiple options like uh, uh, from uh, by clicking on upload you can upload new folders and files by creating uh, new shared folders you can create uh, new folders and you can create new files as well just click on create new file and from here you can create a new word file powerpoint file excel file or you can create a new text file as well if you want to upload a new file just hit upload click on choose files and just it would take you to your uh, main dashboard from here uh, for the purpose of uh, just showing you how it works I'll just take a picture from here and I'll just upload it and here you go uh, how easy it is to upload then I'll just close it and if you want to uh, create a new a folder from here you can create a new folder enter a new folder name new folder and it would create a new folder for you and then if you want to create a new shared folder just hit on new create uh, create new shared folder and you can from here you can uh, create a new shared folder now to set read only permissions obviously you will have to uh, upgrade to uh, teams account uh, but for right now as we have a free trial so uh, second second shared and here you can invite the people in your team uh, whom you want to be in this uh, uh, whom you want to uh, access this folder so I'll just hello and I want to invite these two people and then I'll hit create share and it would create a shared folder and already i have created a sample shared folder which is this shared folder and you can also have a look at this shared folder and here i have uploaded uh, uh, two files as well these files are shared with other people now if i if i have a solo file or i, I have any kind of file and i want to share that file here first of all i have i can share it as a link then i can preview it i can download it i can duplicate it i if i want to move it to any other folder I can move it as well and from here I can just click on share as a link it would create a link for uh, for me and you can share this link to any um, email or you can just copy this link and also you can make some uh, link settings as well like expiry dates and file requests uh, with upload enabled links then uh, you can send file requests obviously then you can set download limits preview only mode email notifications and download uh, uh, count stats as well 
so you have a lot of the options but most uh, and also you can set a password for this file so if someone wants to access this file first of all they will have to enter the password and uh, you can set the label of this as well let's say i'll set a password as khadeen and the label is also also khadeen and i'll just save settings so someone wants to access this file they will need the password to access this file and there are a lot other features which you will get with the team's plan and uh, that's how this basic thing works and now in sharing in links you can uh, see all the links their views their comments and their stats etc and uh, this is all about the dashboard in the sync.com and here we have very easy to set up sync.com uh, sync windows app and we'll set it up easily we can set it up very easily first of all just open it and i'll create a new account with sync or uh, i want to use an existing account then add the email address on which you created your account then type in the password then hit next email address is invalid yep at gmail.com then hit next and it's verifying the username and password it will fetch all the user data then it would create a folder in your device hit next and then next and it's uh, registering new device now and it would sync your device with the, the um, uh, with the sync cloud now if uh, there is any file on the main sync dashboard on the sync.com it would be synced with your uh, laptop computer or pc but if uh, the file is in vault then it would not be stored on your uh, uh, device on your local device and that's how sync.com features work and that's how you can use sync.com desktop app app uh after everything let's just come to the pricing if you are looking for some teams plan you have a business you want a teams plan or you want a personal plan so if we compare the teams plan which is unlimited plan between uh, uh, the sync.com and dropbox the teams plan by a uh, dropbox is 15 dollars per user per month uh, when billed annually and 18 dollars per month per user per month when billed uh, monthly with unlimited storage and when it comes to the dropbox it is around 30 dollars per users uh, per user per month when billed monthly and when billed yearly it's 24 dollars per user per month where you will get the unlimited storage so that's the difference between pricing as well and uh, you can see the pricing uh, difference between both of these websites as well and regarding the privacy and security here you can see uh, sync.com completely commits uh, for the uh, security and privacy of their users uh, it would the data cannot be accessed by sync.com and the data is completely encrypted and obviously personally I prefer sync.com uh, UI and dashboard uh, and simplicity over Dropbox and uh, the other ones like Google Drive and other uh, uh, my, my OneDrive and other more traditional hosting services I think these are not a good fit for the teams and between Dropbox and sync.com I think in my personal opinion sync.com is a good one because uh, they offer uh, uh, insanely amazing collaboration and then uh, these can, uh, their desktop integration their cloud their uh, files uh, files using sync.com can be integrated uh, via cloud and uh, their security you can set up the passwords etc etc there are a lot of features that you can get with sync.com that other traditional cloud hosting services don't provide uh, obviously at the end uh, our choice is yours and uh, your preference is also matters so if uh, some other uh, hosting a uh, cloud hosting service is a good fit for your needs then that, that's also great but in my opinion, sync.com is uh, like something that I would prefer. That was all about this, this video and let me know in the comments uh, what do you think about sync.com and if there is any other service better than this service and there is any pricing plan more affordable than sync.com and uh, also let me know in comments your thoughts uh, what service you are using and why would you switch or why would you not switch that was all about this video see you in this next video till then stay safe bye bye